257 pounds now. Guys, this one's wide open. It's pretty much anybody's game. Well, the reason we say that is Coetta and C.P. Schlater, they both are in rank number one, but they've both beaten the number one seeded uh, wrestler, Paulson, the only time they met him this year. And that's why we're going to see Poeta and uh, Schlater, C.P., the older brother of uh, Dustin, who we just saw. A lot of people thought he was the better of the two coming out of high school. Schlater from Minnesota right there with a quick leg. No points. Back to neutral. Michael Poeta, two-time high school champ out of Illinois. C.P., 165-1 and one in high school, and that's the best record in the history of Ohio for high school. Met twice this year. They split in the dual meet. Poeta won in the Big Ten. C.P. Slater won. Both two of the highest uh, sought recruits when they came out of school. Uh, Poeta a sophomore. C.P. Slater a junior. And Slater doing what uh, Poeta is known for. Sweat. Slater's the one that's making the attack right now. And tell you what, I don't think there's anybody that can stop Poeta when he gets on the offense. But right now, C.P. Slater's the one on the offense. And he's in a great position here to score. Able to turn in on Poeta. Get control. C.P. Slater gets the first takedown. It's a little tougher to come back on than most. In, in most cases, the first takedown indicates uh, uh, if you're going to win the, the match. But uh, C.P. Slater, he is, he is so tough to score against. Wow, he got too low. Why is he so tough? His defense, you can't get past his hands and head because he ties you up. They also, the Slaters have tremendous stances. Low, spread out, and with the hands out in front of them, makes it very, very difficult. Poor strength of the hips. As Tim said earlier, they throw those hips back in their neutral stance. It makes it really tough to take a shot off. the European style, they do it a little bit more than It's very hard to get to. Right now, it, it couldn't be any closer to the, uh, the plan that was drawn up on the board by Slater. To get a takedown in the first few seconds against Mike Boyda is uh, it, it's coming right into his real house. He asked, uh, because of Poeta's elbow out, Slater's controlling the, the wrist there. Poeta's just got to be explosive. He's got to decide he's going to let it all loose. And a warning for stalling against Slater. Not returning Poeta back down to the mat. In the previous meeting when Poeta um, won, he got the first take takedown. And in their last meeting, they got no takedowns until the sudden victory uh, in uh, the sudden victory time. And so uh, this is a first for C.P. Slater to get a takedown in regulation against Poeta. Now here's an example. Uh, he's been called for stalling. But I agree right now, don't go away with what's working. You just stay right on top and ride. Uh, because uh, sometimes you let the referee influence you and take you out of your game. You called him for stalling for kind of I think he was right. He was on his feet, and they didn't return him back down to the mat, and they went out of bounds. So the referee could have interpreted a number of ways. It wasn't for riding parallel. That could come into play later if, uh, if Poeta is able to get his head back into this thing and become offensive. Slater building up riding time. Got the legs laced. Looks like a freestyle turn here. Get hit again. Yeah, he's got to move up off the legs, up to the body. There, he just walked him out of bounds. That was. Well, Slater's not going to do very much. On the now. I mean, he's got what he wants. He's got that first takedown, and uh, he's going to go back. You'll watch him. His hand will go back to the ankle, and uh, he'll do a, a great job of controlling it. It's just a matter of how the official interprets it. Bang down to the ankle. You got to determine whether he's going for the ball. There, yeah, when you flatten the, an opponent out, it's hard to be hit for a stall call. That's a smart move by Schrader, able to get Poeta down to his belly. Well, and Poeta's not, he's not exploding. He's not coming off. I mean, you're, you're not going to get the official going your way when you don't make an explosive move off the whistle. He's not doing anything. And all this time, Schrader has also built up almost two minutes of riding time. That was a better move off the whistle, but you know right where C.P. Slater's going to go to. That's a nice job of going back down there. Now see, 
That was explosive, but he ran out of time. He ran out of time. Man. When you look at Schlater from Minnesota as the Golden Gophers try to get back up on that podium. Oklahoma State has won the last four titles and 34 in all. Minnesota, they won the first two of this new millennium. And of course, Iowa, they dominated for a couple of decades before that. When you look at the sport of collegiate wrestling, it has been mostly dominated by two schools, Iowa and Oklahoma State. Now Minnesota with Jay Robinson, who coached at both Iowa and played for Oklahoma State. Right. Wrestled at Oklahoma I mean, State. he's the tie-in to both of those programs. Escape for C.P. Slater for Poeta. See, C.P. Slater came out alert. You can't warm up on the mat, not, not, during, the, not during the match. And uh, Slater out in front, 3-0, with a lot of riding time. Two minutes of riding time. This is where Poeta just needs to, you know, just give it all he's got and start getting on the attack. How much did that opening period take out of Poeta? I mean, he expelled a lot of energy just trying to get an escape. Yeah, he did. Whenever you have to carry your opponent's weight in the ride, it certainly becomes frustrating, and frustration is a catalyst in terms of fatigue. With C.P. Slater, especially when you have close matches against an opponent, that first points on the board is everything. It dictates the pace of the match and how you wrestle it. Well, see, Slater right is managing well. And I don't care how you got the call, uh, the stalling call. You have a warning on you. It's up to Poeta now to make the official uh, see uh, that uh, he wants a call. But you don't just stand around. You got to be making your shots. Make your, make your opponent look bad. Slater really bothering Poeta with that hand check to the forehead. We saw earlier that Poeta looked over at the referee and said, what are you going to do about that? And once Slater saw that, he's like, well, that bothers him. Good, I'll do it some more. Anything to disrupt, take your opponent out of their patterned offense. Doesn't have to do anything but ward off uh, the attack of uh, Poeta when Poeta.